think that we should get you like a little, you know, corset so that way you have a wasp waist. And I just went, oh. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like that one. I don't think so. And she went, what, why? And I was like, oh, a reason? A reason. What would you do if there were mice learning all around in this hotel? I would call the exterminator. You see, girls? He would exterminate those brats. So um, just to jump right in, you know, in The Devil Wears Prada, Stanley was kind of like a mentor to you. In this one, you couldn't be more dismissive of him. How fun was it for you guys to get to reunite and, and kind of go toe to toe on screen again? Oh, it was such a joy. I was so happy when I found out that Stanley was going to uh, be in the movie. Because Devil Wears Prada, it was such a special experience. Like, and, and, and then it's become this touchdown movie for so many people. But... Yes, we love. Mm -hmm. uh, it might fit. It might. Mm -hmm. Okay, now Chanel, you're in desperate need of Chanel. Darling, shall we? We have to get to the beauty department, and God knows how long that's going to take. But you know, for us making it, it was it was such a joy, and I think in all of our careers, a highlight. And um, so, so to get to pick up with Stanley and get to play totally different characters and get to be weird and silly, uh, it was really special. Enjoy oh God, babies. A I really good giggle. I really enjoyed it. I'm like, I loved the book so much. I didn't know if I would enjoy the movie as much, but I did. I loved it so oh, much. Oh, good. That, that is, we, we love hearing that. Thank you. <laughs> so you were expecting your second son, Jack, when you were on set. Did they have to kind of figure out different ways with the Grand High Witch with a wardrobe or anything? Or were you like, no, oh, we just kind of went about the same way? No, we, you know, I, um, no, but with one exception. I didn't really mm -hmm. tell anybody that I was pregnant because I was still in my first trimester. So, and then when I, uh, when I went into my second trimester during filming, I only told a couple people, but mm -hmm. uh, the costume still fits. So I didn't feel the need to tell anybody. <laughs> but right off the bat, Joanna Johnson, who is a legend and a genius, our costume designer, she was telling me about what she wanted the, the character to look like and everything she was saying was perfect. She was describing the gloves and the gloves having these little nail inserts and how she wanted, you know, and, and, and the fabric she was going to use and the silhouettes and everything was just great. Mm -hmm. And I think that we should get you like a little, you know, corset so that way you have a wasp waist. And I just went, oh, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like that one. I don't think so. And she went, what, why? And I was like, oh, a reason? A reason. And, and I couldn't say because I'm five weeks pregnant. Right. I mean, you know, I just, and I'm like, just, just, I mean, tap dancing. I cannot think of a thing to say. And I go, I just know myself as a performer. And I'm just gonna feel really constrained. I'm gonna feel really constrained. And I just, I'm gonna be funnier if I don't have something I like. I love you. I love and you so much. It's BS. It's such BS. But somehow I sold it, and Joanna didn't ask questions, and she worked with me. And then by by the end of the movie, I was 16 weeks pregnant, and she got it. By the way, have you? I mean, with two babies now, have you actually enjoyed this slowdown period a, a bit? I mean, giving you time to like chill out, or because you're always on the go. So I wonder if it's been like constraining or good. I feel very obnoxious talking about my silver linings because, you know, we're, we've all had di very different COVID experiences and I think mine was probably amongst the least painful, but it, it, I did enjoy being with my family and, the, and, it, and it was that for me. Yeah. And um, yeah, and there were, there, were, there were a lot of silver linings for me in it. Okay, can we talk about that transformation BTS video that had me, I think I watched it at, at that time lapse, I don't know how many times. I was obsessed with it. How long did that actually take? It wasn't that bad, it was about 45 minutes, maybe a little bit less, and it would have been shorter except I got stuck. <laughs> hey, what do you mean you got stuck? Like they couldn't get it off you? They couldn't get me out of it. <laughs> So I knew, so like, I, they kind of went to pull it off and nothing happened. And I knew, so, and then everybody got very silent and I thought something's gone very wrong here. <laughs> but uh, eventually we kind of went through it little by little and we pulled it off and I had all my eyelashes at the end, which was the one thing I had been worried about. So, uh, so it felt good. Another time when I'd had a, <laughs> when I'd had a face cast done, they missed a spot on my nose. They're supposed to put the solution on to keep it, help it slide off. And they oh, missed a spot on my nose. And when they pulled it off, it like really did some damage. And I wound up getting two black eyes. Oh 
So this one was like a walk in the park. This one wasn't a, wasn't wasn't that bad. Well, you're good because I would have had anxiety for days being in that thing. I don't think I think you would have be I think you'd have surprised yourself because yeah. when you're doing it for something you love and it's something that you know that you do, it's not like like someone just springs it on you, mm -hmm. you know? And I knew that I was working with like the best in the business and if it was gonna go well, it would be going well with those guys. So, so it was okay. Ladies, I have a plan. Andro, the transform a child into a mouse. So which of the witch-isms would annoy you most in life? The claws for hands, not having toes, or that like the mouth that's from here to here? I like to eat, so I think the mouth would work. And <laughs> I think I think it must be very hard to open jars mm -hmm. with only with only the three. And I don't like asking people to do things for me. Um, so I think probably the the three hands, yeah, the three fingers. Well, of, of course we know um, Angelica Houston was the Grand High Witch of all Grand High Witches. And d did you want to pay some homage to her when you were doing this, or did you want to just really kind of chart your own path? The doors! Are they locked and bolted? Locked and bolted. Both. Yeah. I, I wanted to I wanted to give a performance that was as, that that felt as memorable to uh, the children of today as her performance meant felt to me. And I knew there was that opportunity there, but I it also felt like it would have been in a way disrespectful to 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 crib her performance yeah. hers is hers and and it was for Nick Rogue's brilliant movie and mine was mine and it was for Robert Zemeckis you know mm -hmm. and um and so I felt very comfortable that there were going to be two very very different performances and I always you know and then I kept and any moments that I felt like a little nervous about oh, are people going to let there be two grand high witches in film history, I just went. You know what? People have got people in the last thirty years. There have been four Jokers. There you go. There have been six Batman. There have been I don't know how many James Bonds. Like people can do this. We're just not used to doing it with actresses. But great. Then we should. Then it's time to learn. I was gonna say we shouldn't have those same questions for for female roles that because we don't have them for male roles. Um, I'm not. I'm not crazy, right? Like no, you're not at all. You're not at all. Have, did you ever? Did you get a chance to connect with her? Do you know if she's seen it or will will see it or can you even think about that <laughs> i haven't let myself go there yet. that was the one thing i didn't really let myself think about i was just like Man, maybe not maybe not maybe not maybe not but all i just want is her to be in john wick four that's what i that's what i'm pulling for so that's what i can't wait to see